Okay, so the next step is to gather the bottom of the sleeve, and we're going to finish out the sleeve and the cuff. I've prepared these uh, cuffs with half inch seams instead of quarter, so you poke out these edges or clip them if you wish. Um, but you can see here it's a half inch, and this is folded back a half inch. Okay, so now um, this is ready to assemble once I get my gather stitch. So bring it back up to a long stitch, and this is a rather full sleeve. Um, the smaller part of the sleeve is the back, so the seam allowance goes toward the back. And then the back sleeve is extended. Okay, so I'm going to get close, but not all the way to the edge with this gather stitch. Okay, then I can pull that. And just like we did on the, um, the sample, we're going to start with um, the cuff on the wrong side and it's going to finish on the right side. So that way you have better control with that last stitch um, looking nice and clean. Okay, so the top part, the bigger part of the sleeve is tucked under. The right side is on the inside of the cuff, right side to wrong side, tucked under. And now I can stitch this. Go back to my regular stitch. And a half inch. Okay, make sure you get the excess out of the way so you don't grab it. And this is a half inch to the other side. Adjust the gathers. You can pin if you'd like. And again, always when you have a gather um, going to a flat space, always stitch with the gather side on top. So you can control those gathers and not get big clumps. And seam allowance toward the back as you cross it. Make sure it's overlocked. And this side the, is the short side and the bias is extended out. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm ready to take all of that seam inside my cuff and I'll do an edge stitch on the right side of the garment and it'll all be cleaned inside there. You don't want to see any uh, seam, so I'm covering that seam as best I can. Okay. Oh, my thread ran out. 
But that's what you want to do there. Okay. Stop.